So Rolls Royce, when they make it, they make it one at a time, and they take their time, and they handcraft it. It's the best leather. It never goes on sale. The Bentley never goes on sale. And some of y'all in this room, you want your dream to go on sale. It's never going to go on sale. But if you want to be average, they give an average out. They got discounts on goods. But if you want to be great and phenomenal, you got to pay blood, you got to pay sweat, you got to pay tears, and you got to pay every single day. There are no shortcuts to great. About to go inside, chop it up with Mike, the One Body, One Mind Fitness owner and operator. Go check it out. We're gonna add a lot of value to you guys. Talk about some fitness, nutrition, different things just to help you out in your journey. So check it out. All right, how you doing, man? So I learned it's all about having good relationships. One of my boys, Elijah, connected me with Mike. So I'm here helping him out with circuit training, uh, just helping him out around the gym. Um, train here sometimes, personal training, one on one training. It's a great facility, it's gonna blow up. So I'm just here to help out. I just wanna see. Uh, See them do great things and just want to be a part of it, help motivate people to help become their best self through fitness and health. So welcome to Be Phenomenal, helping you discover your best self through fitness and health. So today I'm here with Mike Jones, the fitness guru of One Body, One Mind, owner and operator. What's up Mike? What's going on, man? How you doing? All right. Yeah, so we're here, we're just going to talk about some fitness and nutrition today. We just um, He's the guru, he knows everything about, you know, fitness, nutrition, he's kind of like my fitness mentor. So I just figured, uh, I just want to give you guys some good insight. Uh, can you tell him about what you guys offer here? All right, well first of all, thanks for having me and uh, thanks for the, um, the, uh, the intro. The, <laughs> the great intro uh, and me being a guru. I do pride myself yeah. on um, being a holistic trainer that focuses on uh, nutrition, uh, the health of the uh, body internally as well as externally. Uh, you know, we know a lot of people when they uh, get into training or just fitness in general, they're looking at the aesthetics of it. You know, they want to look a certain way on the outside. Right. But fitness is much more than just looking a certain way on the outside. You have to take care of the body internally. So at One Body, One Mind, our fitness philosophy is that you know, we address the entire body, you know, the yeah. external as well as the internal, as well as the mind. Right. You know, not that we, uh, you know, purport to be uh, yeah, uh, yeah. psychologists, but uh, we do, you know, try to connect that mind body, so to speak, with the clients, you okay. know, so they understand that there is a connection with everything. Yeah. And what we do here, as well as um, uh, we offer uh, a complete variety of classes as well as one-on-one -on -one personal training and nutrition uh, consulting. So we have that whole uh, recipe, so fitness recipe, so to speak, uh, mm -hmm. to offer the clients. Yeah, that's great. Like, just to expand on that, like you're saying, though, mm -hmm. it's a correlation with the mind and the body, and that's basically why I want to start this movement, because mm -hmm. I realize once you start working on yourself, you're improving your body, right. you start to get a, a newfound uh, confidence. Right, it's motivation. Yeah, it's motivation. Mm -hmm. and you start feeling better about yourself, sure. you start making better decisions. Sure. Then I want to translate to that to your life. You start improving your lifestyle, you know, so it's just mm -hmm. cycles where you're becoming a better person. So, Well, when I get people, when, when, especially when people are just starting out with training, I, I just ask them, I try to get them, just, just dedicate just two weeks just give me two weeks of, 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 of uh, good eating, of sound nutrition, and I promise you, combined with your workout, that you'll see a significant difference in the way you look and the way you feel. And then when you see those results, motivate, mo uh, uh, results are motivated. Yeah, okay. And so people typically, when they see those results start to come, they get excited like, you know, a new toy at Christmas to a kid, you know, they right. say, oh wow, look at this. So those, so if, if I can get them just to, just buy into it, just give me a couple of weeks. And usually that's just enough to get the ball rolling and get them started on the right track. Yeah, so yeah, that was even one of the questions I wanted to ask you. Um, Growing up, my family used to just, well, we still do, still mm -hmm. just eat whatever, you know, soda, kids drinking soda, um, you know, hot dogs, hamburgers, sure, we just eat sure. anything, you know, and then we wonder why we're having generations of people who are overweight, having mm -hmm. different uh, diabetes, cancer, uh, just all mm -hmm. these health issues, and it's just mm -hmm. generation, 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 
and it's another issue I wanted to tackle. Mm -hmm. So, um, why do you think fitness is just so important? Like, why does it matter? Some people will say, I can eat mm -hmm. whatever I feel good. Right, right, you know, right, right. Why, why should I be eating? salad and kale and uh, drinking juice and exactly. water like why is it so well funny? i mean there's so Personally. many so many yeah. factors and so many things to uh that can be said about that whole mentality and you know society you know at large in terms of uh where we are from you know a health standpoint and a health conscious standpoint uh just going back a little bit uh what's one of the big things that happened and that was introduced to our uh, Western diet is the introduction of a lot of additives and food chemicals that we didn't have long ago. Uh, just with the, uh, the um, chemical sweeteners, you know, such as the corn syrups, the high fructose corn syrups, and the uh, synthetic uh, fats that are like the hydrogenated oils. That's just two examples amongst the many that was, you know, added to our um, uh, diets via you know processed foods, junk foods, and the fact that lifestyle change uh, has um, is, is much different from what it used to be. Meaning, uh, you know, the mother and the father is working now, and kids and families are eating a lot, eating out a lot more, yeah. and and consuming a lot more of the quick box type foods, microwave foods, right. and all of these things where these chemicals have been added. So you have that dynamic going on along with the less activity dynamic. Yeah. You know, kids are not as right. active and people are not as active because everything is now technology. push button technology. So just as, you know, well as technology has made things easier for us, right. it's kind of been a detriment, you know, to our health in many aspects. So, yeah. so now we have less activity combined with um, less healthy diets. And it's created, you know, a recipe for disaster. So now, what used to be an adult disease such as diabetes, they had to actually change the name. It used to used to be adult set, uh, adult onset diabetes, yeah. which is now, you know, they just changed it to diabetes because yeah, yeah. kids are as young as seven to eight years old, right. they're they're getting diabetes. And uh, type two, you know, there's two different types of diabetes. You have type one and type two, but the type two is strictly, uh, 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 for the most part, lifestyle related, you know, and, and diet related. So a lot of people, uh, uh, kids as young as seven or eight, is getting this uh, uh, the lifestyle uh, type two diabetes now. When that used to be something you only heard amongst the older generation. Um, another question I just wanted to ask you, probably about. Probably, you probably get this all the time, probably 80, 90% of people want to lose weight and get some abs. Like for just a person, a sedentary mm -hmm. person who doesn't really work out and or just trying to start getting into it mm -hmm. and they want to lose weight, um, what small steps can they do to mm -hmm. lose, start shredding some pounds and start, what can they eat, what can they do differently mm -hmm. that you can give them? Well, to get you know, first of all, what I, what, I, what I look to do, uh, especially to people who are just uh, beginning, you want to bring them into reality, so to speak. You want to make sure that their, uh, their desires, wants, or their idea of what they're trying to accomplish uh, fits reality, and for lack of a better way of expressing it. Because a person who's been sitting around and of a certain weight, and, you know, look, you, you, you're not going to look like, uh, you know, right. this, this bodybuilder type. Some people want type, it in a month. Type, exactly, in, 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 in a couple of weeks. Yeah. So you, you have to make sure you establish, you know, how uh, the body works in a realistic uh, manner. And then uh, once you establish that, and also how serious, and how, uh, how serious you are and how bad do you want it. Right. And that determines, you know, how disciplined you're going to be on the program. But uh, just some little things that people can do in, in, in terms of somebody just, the common person that just wants to begin to lose body fat and, and get in better shape is to, of course, start being active. Right, right. Start exercising. That's, that's the main thing, point one. But little things from the nutritional standpoint is just making sure you cut out the unnecessary sugars. Uh, we consume, as a society, sugar in so many different ways and so many different products. If we just begin to monitor the sugar intake, especially 
in the uh, form of liquid calories, the sodas, the juices, which many people think are healthy and juices are in no way, shape or form healthy. There's just a, a, a bunch of uh, uh, free fructose, which is a, a bad form of sugar. Uh, but if you monitor your intake of juices, sodas, coffee with added sugar, and all of these drinks that uh, we consume daily versus water without all the unnecessary sugar, just that alone will cut down tremendously on our sugar intake. And then when we talk about the meals, eating less processed foods and more whole foods, which are you know whole grains like rices, beans, rices, quinoa, um, uh, beans, uh, and I'm not a big advocate of bread, but if you're gonna do it, uh, stick with the sprouted wheat type breads, uh, whole grain breads, because a lot of these stores sell a lot of uh, breads parading as healthy breads when they're really not. You know, they got the uh, honey wheat and all yeah. of this stuff. All that is stuff is white bread in disguise. So yeah, exactly. So and it's gonna give you the same result. Because in Western society, we're taught from a child, you know, clean your plate, eat all your food, oh, yeah. and usually we eat until we feel full or even stuffed. Right. Well, you know, years ago, 20 years ago, when I started getting into the whole nutrition side, nutrition side of fitness, I um, began to change my approach towards eating, and now I eat until I'm content and not full. And that yeah. takes practice because everybody wants, uh, or most people are used to yeah, that yeah. full feeling versus just being content. Yeah. But if you train yourself to eat a meal and say, I'm content, right. I'm not really full, but right. I'm okay. Yeah. And if you get, if you start doing that, you really, you actually get used to being that way versus that full feeling. Like me personally, I don't even like to feel full anymore. Yeah, you can't even move. Exactly, it makes me feel sluggish, lethargic, and I just don't feel good when I'm full. So I eat, and I've been doing this for years and years, probably the last 15 years, just eating until I'm content. And when you get to that point, number one, it'll stop you from overeating, and, it, and it'll uh, train your eating habits uh, on a more um, consistent basis, which you know we've talked about it before. Yeah. You know that whole meal timing thing, where you got to eat small meals throughout the day, right. or speeds up yeah, your exactly, which speeds up your metabolism. So you get used to doing that and 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 uh, reducing the sugar. Condiments like putting a lot of, even when you do eat salads, putting a, a, a bunch of dressing on your salad, or using all of these other different you know high fat condiments. All of those things, just focusing on those things alone right. and drinking more water, which a lot of us don't do. But these little things alone can help make a huge difference right. in terms of you know body fat loss and um, progress in your training program. Right, definitely. That's what I try to tell people all the time. You don't have to have a extravagant meal plan. Exactly. You know, just um, make small steps. Start Absolutely. drinking more water. Start uh, cutting out the bad carbs. That's right. Um, so you probably hear this all the time. Uh, some people say it's 70, 30, some people say it's 80, 20. I, mm -hmm. like, to, I like to say it's 100, 100 of mm -hmm. fitness and nutrition. Some people mm -hmm. say 80% is nutrition, 20 mm -hmm. is fitness. What do you, your take on that? You, you, you know, and, and I, I agree with you. I've heard all of these different ratios before, but I, I've settled at this point on the fact that it's 50-50. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, both are just as important. Right. Because you, if you're eating well and not exercising your body, you're still sacrificing and losing as you age. You're losing muscle mass, you're losing um, the ability to produce a growth hormones which are a key factor in the aging versus staying youthful. And that's what resistance training slash weightlifting does. It helps your body produce more of those youth-giving hormones that you know, uh, uh, that keep you youthful, that keep you strong. So, one is better than not having either of them, meaning eating healthy yeah. and not working out is better than not, not eating not healthy and not working out. Yeah. But if you, one without, I think both of them are just as important because we talk about working out without eating healthy, which, you know, we all, we've seen results of that where, yeah. you know, seemingly, healthy athletes or what who appear Looks healthy good. on the outside you know end up you know dying from having a heart attack or having some complication so and and many times that's due to 
the lack of focus on nutrition. Yeah. And um, just one last question. Uh, so for the person who's taking those steps and they're, they're trying to eat healthy and they're working out, but they're kind of having a hard time or hitting plateaus of gaining mm -hmm. muscle, mm -hmm. what do you suggest? Should they take protein? Should they just start eating more chicken, mm -hmm. more rice? What do you suggest? Because a lot of people come to me like, man, how do I gain more muscle? How do I, mm -hmm. I'm trying to get ripped? How, how do right. you get to that point? Well, it, it, it's yeah. probably a lot of different variables. Well, there, there is, and it depends on the individual. You know, everybody's body's different. However, uh, each individual, you have to determine what is your goal at this point. Because there's different approaches, you know, depending on your goal. If you have a weight loss goal or a goal where you want to get leaner, then that's a different goal from building yeah, muscle mass like. because the best and most effective way to build muscle mass is to consume more protein and more carbs because that allows your body to have sufficient uh, protein which your body takes protein and turns it into muscle mass and it also ha uh, allows it to have sufficient carbs for energy requirements so that the protein is not sacrificed for energy so the best way in, in terms of building muscle mass is to consume you know, enough carbs and enough protein. And I'm a big advocate of, of, of protein shakes because uh, of quality protein shakes. All protein shakes are not quality, so I wanna put that out there. But a quality protein shake, you know, reputable brand, you know, whey isolate without all the uh, artificial flavors, without all the artificial sweeteners and, and sugars. You wanna find one as clean as possible but a good protein shake, uh, uh, definitely I, I recommend supplementing your protein, uh, your program because it's hard to eat enough food right. or, or, and it's, it's probably not as healthy to be consuming all that meat anyway, but uh, a good liquid protein is something I highly recommend for someone wanting to mass up and getting good quality carbs because a lot of people, when they try to mass, what do they do? They just think right. they can eat anything, right? Yeah, just and like ice cream, eat, eat, uh, carb, burgers, and, 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 and yeah. but the problem is that's not quality foods, and 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 instead you're gonna look like a big yeah. ice cream cone or burger if you mass up that <laughs> yeah. way, right? Versus eating more oatmeal, more more uh, brown rice, yeah. more uh, can, exactly more fruits, and those things that are gonna give your body quality nutrients, vitamins and nutrients. That's what your body lives off of. All that junk food, processed foods are deficient in vitamins and minerals. So if you eat that stuff, you're just getting a bunch of junk carbs, and you, I don't know if you heard that term before, but it's just yeah. a bunch of, bunch of empty carbs. Empty carbs. Exactly, empty calories. exactly, yeah. empty calories, and it's, and it's just gonna more than likely turn into fat versus quality muscle. Right. And uh, you know, I think it starts with the mind first, because we talked right. about that. Because you can't take these steps if you don't have the motivation or the inspiration to even you know, to buy the foods or to look to get in the gym. Absolutely. So it, Absolutely. we have to approach it as a holistic approach. Sure. So uh, sure. definitely uh, we're going to give you motivation, inspiration. So it starts with the mind. Um, please come and check out One Body, One Mind. Check us out. Come talk to Mike. Come talk to me. Um, follow me on uh, Beef Phenomenal. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Thanks for chopping it up with me, Mike. No doubt. And Always remember, be phenomenal because you are phenomenal. Helping you discover your best self. Fitness app.